Hi there, I'm Weasel Zombie and welcome to a short Lightworks 14 tutorial on transitions. So I have my two trusty tutorial clips already imported into Lightworks. And if you're looking for where transition effects are, we go under VFX, click on the little plus tab, and we've got different categories around here. We've got favorites. Uh, plugins, stylized text, blah blah blah. Can make that bigger. Nope. Um, dissolve is the transition I want. So let's just drag that and drop that into the center of the two clips here. Bang. Now, you have probably done this and you're wondering why it doesn't work. Right? We can see that there is no dissolve tab there. So let's go back to this beginning of this and I'll show you the easy way to get it right every time. So let's remove these two clips. Zoom that back out, rewind to there. Now the easy way to do this every time is if we bring this up into the preview pane and we use in marks and out marks. In marks and out marks show what part of the clip will actually be visible. So if we scroll forward through this for 30 frames, which is one second of video, you know, 30, we put in an in mark. We go to the end of the video, which is 16.07, so we come back to 15.07 in this case, because I'm just going to do one second worth of overlap each time. One too far, 15.07, and we put an out mark. So that whole clip is still there, but only the bits between this mark and that mark will be used for the video. So we can rewind that, which I like to do because it keeps the preview pane up to date, and we can close that one, and we can do the same for this one. We can make sure it's rewound, we come forward to 30 frames, one second worth of video again, 30, put an in mark, go to the end, 20.15, so we go to 19.15. You can use different frame amounts to do your in and out marks, but I'm just in the habit of doing one second each way. Maybe it'll be a bit more if I have a long pause before I actually start talking in a video. It might be a bit of background noise or something. So it's personal preference anyway. So right, that's rewound. Another handy tip, your real IDs. You can sort this view out if you have lots of clips. You can just call that, let's call that 02 just to keep up with things. And I'll call that one 01. Right, it's all very easy for two clips, but if you had 150 clips in there, it would start getting a little bit weird as to which clip you want to put in what order. So this way we can sort it by real ID, and you can do just have it sorted, and it makes life a lot easier. So now we get into here, drag that one in there, drag the second clip in there. We still have that rough cut, so let's do that. VFX, get you out of the way, let's zoom in a bit so you can see what's happening. I'm going to go into the plus tab, and down here, recently used, dissolve, which is quite a nice effect. Now, see we have this dissolve effect has been applied. So if we rewind the video a little bit, and it dissolves nicely into the next scene. So have a play around with that. Um, there's lots of different effects under there, and I hope that is really helpful for you. So you can see it there as well. And those cut effects also help with editing different films, so that's a handy little tip. Always use the in marks and the out marks on every clip, and you'll make life a lot easier for yourself. Also, remember, use Real ID for sorting things out in what order you want them to appear in. That can make life really easy for you too, especially when you're dealing with large amounts of clips. So I'm Weasel Zombie. That was a short tutorial on transition effects in Lightworks 14. 
click that like button if you liked it, click the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you for watching, I do hope I see you again next time. Bye bye.